Couldn't tell YouTubers at Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of 2007 movie Transformers Starscream. This is Voyager size class. Let's take a look at the box. You got Starscream, he's obviously a raptor. Uh, there he is, Starscream Decepticon and Automorph Technology. I'll show you that at the top of the box. And this is what I don't like about this Hasbro. Hasbro. Stop the cutesy stuff with the boxes. This is the most painful box to unassemble because of all the tabs and the weird shape it has, for lack of a better term. Ellipsoid, quarter of ellipsoid, cut out. What the heck, man? Make it square. Easy to stack. I can't stack this because of its pure... This, anyways, here's the back. Uh, bottom of the box. Again, why does it have to be an elliptic? <sighs> Automorph technology on the side. Nothing too much because there's no real ugh, box just irritates the heck out of me. All right, here's Starscream. Obviously, uh, Raptor. I already mentioned that. Tabs, okay. You can see a little springs here, color. I like the light piping over here. You can obviously see the head from the bottom. Tons of oven carriage junk. No, what do you call it? Nose wheel. No, no wheel landing, which is sucks. Boo! No rear wheel, but you can kind of see that, uh, oh yeah, that's actually rotates. So you have the, no rear wheel landing either. So how does this thing land? I have to mention that because I'm in aviation, I actually work with aircraft and you don't have any landing gear. How does this thing land? I understand this is a Decepticon, but it's a really poor excuse for a Raptor, for I'll tell you that much. Okay, enough of my rant. I like the colors, uh, brown, cream, uh, I don't know what beige whatever color it is. I like the gradation over here. Starscream. I wish they had bigger Decepticon symbols. It's molded on. And, of course, the missiles fire quite nicely. You get six of them. So, you can see from the front over here, cockpit. I don't think it raises. Oh, it does. Oh, just for transformation. It doesn't we're supposed to. So, you got that. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Tons of undercarriage junk. You can tell the arms, legs, face. So, that's cool. I guess, uh, ailerons, elevators, all in good working condition. So it is what it is. It's a mixed bag in alt mode. Six out of ten. I kind of wish they did a little bit more with this. Let's go ahead and transform with it. I mean, it rolls. Yeah, it's supposed to. I mean, it looks kind of intimidating. You know, not very sleek. Could have done a little bit better. But for a first attempt, not too bad. I like the silver, gray whatever beige black a lot of colors muted subdued looks like they're gonna be going to the desert but enough about that transformation first thing we're going to do is pop out the arms and the missiles will fire so I'm not going to do that uh, every time I touch them there's gonna be a missile firing okay move this down for now and there are on ball joints, so it helps. Okay, good. Just move that out of the way for now. Spread that out. Good. And we'll do a little automorph first. So let's get the legs out of the way. So, legs. There's a panel. Pops out right here. I did. Okay. Whoops, I know this thing pops out. There it is. Okay. Thank goodness. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Move that up. And these legs are in ratchet joints. So we're going to move that and then move that down. Let me put this ratchet disjoint on before it drives me crazy. Boy, this is painful. Oh, yeah. We have to move that little slot right there. Okay. Good to go. Next one. Same thing. A lot less pressure. Open that up, pull this out gently because the joint is pretty. And then move that down, out of the way, and down. Snap that into place, move the legs out, and good to go. Move this little tab right here for the cockpit, and that whole assembly moves in, and that little tab right here tabs right there. Sweet. And you can see the head. I'm going to move these solar panels, or sorry elevators out and head is on a swivel good so that's tabbed in legs are in and now for the automorph okay there we go we're going to move that 
up into place and then the automorph technology is that once you move this up yeah see that again shall we I like that it doesn't tab anywhere oops and these pieces will fall off oh, forgot this is actually made out of rubber that little front piece right here that covers his head very flimsy little part doesn't really do much covers the head made of rubber I like that I mean so there's your automorph technology and these panels four Stabilizers. Okay. I think we're almost done. I'm going to move. Let's see. I think I'm missing something. Forget. If I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the. Oh, yeah. These things do accordion to the back. So we're going to leave the arms here. Okay. These panels down for now. jointed and that goes down so same thing with that one double joint and that goes down and these pieces do fly off kind of irritating okay put these stabilizers down all right good get the head out of the way i wish really one irritating transformation okay gosh put that like so so we're gonna move awesome okay still not done then we're going to ratchet the legs there we go I don't know why I don't know why they have to be chickened out oh, man he's not going to get a good grade from me I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna lie oh, what a painful transformation let me just do the there we go that's right yeah they could have done a lot with this figure but man the engineering is awful just plain awful <sighs> he is not getting a good grade from me I'll tell you that much Things falling apart. Legs stout, small. I'm trying to get this guy into a decent pose. Missiles flying off. No legs, or sorry, no arms to speak of. Like I mentioned before, the missiles fire really well. I forgot to mention that here. So they have little firing mechanisms and they fire really well. Not too bad. Oh, one thing is, let's see if I can tab in. Goodness gracious. I mean, you cannot grab this without firing a missile. I, I really can't. I'm trying. And the arms don't tab anywhere. What a mess. He does have light piping. Let's see if I can do that. Look at that. This thing is a big mess. Things falling off. I mean, gosh. I cannot maintain this. Maybe it's just my copy. I mean, let me know. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong because, man, I'm just not getting it. Heads on a swivel. Look great looking. Mirroring fierce image. I mean, he is a Decepticon. Let's see. Swivel on the shoulder. <sighs> yeah. I'm just shooting up the missiles. Got a bicep swivel. Elbow. And he doesn't have arms. So he's got these weird looking grapple, or sorry, he doesn't have, I like the fact that you can actually, there's a little gimmick in the back over here, you can make that spin and shoot the missiles. So let me see if I can make that, uh, there we go, like a Gatling gun. Legs on ratchets, swivels out, that's it. Thigh swivel, knee joint, ankle pivot, but really not the most poseable guy in the world. I don't like this dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, gosh, they could have done something with this guy. I mean, he is Voyager size, no doubt. But I'm not gonna recommend him. I, I really don't. I, I really had a lot of issues transforming him. <sighs> 
comes with an instruction sheet. I forgot to mention that too. So it comes with an instruction sheet. So you got that. It was just painful transforming. And here's a 2007 product lineup. So you got that if you want to take a look at that. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It has the movie. And storyline, of course. It has some G1 figures looking good. Scorpionock and whatnot. It's all. And their counterparts. See how ugly they were? They had personality back then. Now they're just ugly. To me, anyways. And of course, the product line for the popular iPod back in 2007. <sighs> 4 out of 10 for the alt mode. It really disappointed me. I'm going to lie to you. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. Voyager size class. And I'll catch you all next time.